Hello my fellow weirdos and welcome to another puzzle review video. Um, this is one of the first puzzles I bought. Um, I'm super excited about it. I was super excited about it. I still love it. It's one of my favorite puzzles. By the way, my name is Flower the Weirdo. Thank you for coming to check out my channel. If you're new here, please go ahead and give me a subscribe because uh, I would love that. You don't have to, but it would be really nice. Don't forget to click that like button if you enjoy this video. Anyway, let's get back to it. So yeah, this is one of the first puzzles I bought after I started getting into puzzling. Um, it is called The Curiosity Cabinet. It's a Jeff Haney painting. It is, hold on, let me hold it from down here so you can see all the cool stuff in there. It's so cool and creepy. Um, I love it. I love everything about it. It's very macabre. Um, it's, it's very, very cool. And it has butterflies. Butter, butterflies. Like you can't see the butterflies. Um, I love butterflies. I love building butterflies in puzzles. Um, but this is a Buffalo 1000 piece puzzle. This was the first time I did a 1000 piece puzzle. I was going to do all the 500s first to get me used to puzzling alone. Because I've puzzled all my life, just I've always done it with other people. I've never done it on my own, which I do thoroughly enjoy doing it on my own as with other people. But anyway, um, this puzzle was a bit challenging because I decided when I was sorting it, I was going to take all the wood pieces and put them to the side so that I would build everything else and then put the wood pieces in there. But the problem is a lot of these items also look like wood. Um, we have the shell thing here and the seashells here, which look like the bones. Uh, yeah, so there was a lot. And also there's marbles down here, but there's also marbles up here. And these crystals, those were a little bit difficult. So there was a lot of difficulty. Could you see anything when I was pointing at that? Let me put it directly in the light. I hope you guys saw what I was pointing at. I just realized that I was shining it like directly. Into, where is that light? There it is. Yeah, I have a puzzle lamp up there. There it is right there. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you could see what I was talking about. Let me put it up close so you can get a closer look at the shells and the bones and, you know, everything. So, yeah. And also, like, this furry... <laughs> Where is it? The cactus is furry, just like the cat. So, I was getting it confused. You didn't even notice the cat up there, did you? Because I didn't. Anyway, this is the one of the coolest the coolest uh puzzles I did. Sorry, my computer just finished. I'm multitasking right now. I have a bit of a headache. But I'm multitasking. I'm like exporting videos while I'm talking to you and filming these other videos, doing all kinds of stuff trying to get my channel because I have all these puzzle videos that I have just been sitting there. So like all of my Halloween videos are just I haven't put them out yet. So I put them on Instagram, but I haven't put them out yet. So I'm going to try and get as many videos out as I can just to get a little bit caught up because I don't want to get as behind as I am in The Sims because my Sim videos, I have like 500 videos that need to get out and I haven't put them out. So I want to try to keep up with this one. Anyways, um, let me show you the sides of the box here. The puzzle is kind of, um, like, I opened it up so now the pieces are all in there. But I wanted to show you the puzzle pieces here. They're um, not random cut, which is my favorite. They're kind of the same, same old, same old pieces, you know, with the, you know, either, you know what I'm talking about. I think it's called ribbon cut, but I'm not sure. But they're, they're pretty small, but they're thin wise. They're not, they're pretty thick thin wise, but they're, they're like smaller pieces, which is fine because it's a thousand piece puzzles and I have a very small board. 
to work on so this just fit on the board so that's nice but yeah um like i said i really enjoyed this puzzle it was very tough very challenging but it was nice because it kind of proved to me that i could actually do a puzzle like this um let me do a quick check here it took me about 10 hours altogether to do this puzzle now mind you this is after i did like two or three puzzles on my own so yeah anyways let's go ahead and go watch the um time lapse and i will talk to you while we watch it hopefully i have so much stuff running on my computer that it's it's been chopping up the videos oh but you guys will see the solid video because i'm going to add the video later it's not like my other computer where I can just play it in the background. So yeah, this is before I started doing my puzzle spin, which I've been trying to do and failing miserably at. But um, yeah, I love when they come with a puzzle. It's so much better. It's easier on my eyes. And I need to put all the posters out like that because did I say puzzle or poster? I meant poster if I said puzzle. But yeah, I need to put them all out like that. Uh, but yeah, so you can see I'm sorting out. I'm, I'm kind of just picking out things that I recognize, like marbles. One bucket is like shells and bones. One is all the wood. And then, like, I think the... I did it kind of in sections from what I could tell. So, like, the mask and the butterflies went in one section. Um... Yeah, so I just kind of sorted the best I could. And then I ran out of room in the wood bucket, so I had to use the box. Because there was so much wood. And it was so hard to, like, determine what was wood and what was not wood. But yeah, I didn't realize how big the puzzle would be. Because this was my first time building a puzzle like this. So you can tell by how little... how small I have the border I'm like oh yeah this puzzle won't be big at all and then it just kept getting bigger and bigger and I'm like oh my gosh is it gonna fit on the table I couldn't I couldn't tell if it was gonna fit on the table or not I was sitting there thinking what if it doesn't fit on the table and I can't build this puzzle I want to build this puzzle so yeah and by that time I gave up I'm like I don't know where the rest of the, the edges are I think I might have had something messed up in there too that I had to kind of, you know, a false fit. So I obviously started with the butterflies because that's what I do. I love butterflies. Um, I tried to do the mask. I thought the mask would be easy to do, but it was not. It was very difficult to try and figure out where everything went. But at least I got most of the pieces for it. And then, of course, I put some of the other pieces. I think they got mixed in with the... Uh, they might have just been mixed in with the butterflies. But yeah, the the butterflies I feel like are the easiest for me to do. I, I don't know. I just love butterflies. <laughs> I can say butterflies 500 times in the video. I love watching how fast this goes. It's like I'm a superhuman and just like... Pew, pew, pew. I'm the Flash building a puzzle. It's so fun. But yeah, it this was one, it was a thinker. You know, it, it was challenging enough. I kind of want to try it again. I know I say this about all my puzzles, but I do. I want to try it again and see if I can beat the time. But this is one of those puzzles that I want to go and buy another, um, another one of so that I can glue one but then still have one that I can continue to build because I really loved this puzzle. I don't know what it is about this one. And then there's a couple by Eboo that I really like, the Alchemist Cabinet and the Alchemist Home. I haven't built those yet, but I just love the way they look. I love the shape, the, the not the shape of it, but like I love like the Curiosity Cabinets. There's a couple other ones. I know they had one in the... um jigsaw world champion world champion jigsaw contest i can't think right now 
but there was one there that was really cool it was like a rainbow gradient alchemist thing i think but it was really cool and i definitely want to try that one but who knows if i will ever get a copy of that because i'm poor ha 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 anyway <laughs> So yeah, as you can see, I'm trying to get the shells done, the shells and the bones right now. That's what I kept saying, shells and bones, shells and bones when I was sorting. And then I had to get up and look at the puzzle because I wasn't sure if I had something in the right spot, but I did. And I just kind of tried to work out from that butterfly, like kind of get the shelving right of that. Um, but I, I definitely think I should have not separated out the shelves because there was too much wood to figure out what was what. And this, I'm, I don't know. I don't know. I was going to say I should have done a full flip, but I, I pretty much ended up doing a full flip with the, um, a half flip, a portion flip. I don't know what they're called. But with those shelf pieces, I had to lay them all out and look at them. That was another thing they had a repeat repetition of is those bottles. There was a couple of different bottles that looked similar. And um, I think right there I'm trying to find out, like, or trying to figure out how the smoke goes from the genie bottle. Because there's like a genie coming out of the bottle there. Oh, look, and I work during the daytime here. You can tell when I work during the daytime because I'll have Coke with me. Because when I work at night, I don't drink Coke at night. So, yeah, anytime I have a Coke, it's when I do a rare daytime puzzling. Uh, but yeah, I just heard a weird noise and I was like, oh my gosh, what was that? But I think I have the sound on, on this, on this, the version I'm watching. But yeah, I just... It was a very fun puzzle. Very challenging for someone who's not used to puzzling. So, yeah. Sometimes it's fun to just watch it. You just get... It's so soothing. Like, before I go to bed at night, I watch these. And it just... It just makes me so, like sleepy and it's it's just very very relaxing to watch people puzzle like this and it's neat how it's like coming in squares I think I've started yeah I started on the shelving now which was so difficult <laughs> I don't know how many times I had to stand up to look at the puzzle because I wasn't sure if something fit in a spot or not there were a lot of false fits but when you have, the, when the pieces are all the same like this, you kind of do get a lot of false fits. That's why I like the, um, the random cut with the weird pieces like a uh, spring back. A lot of the spring back pieces have that weird piece. So yeah, when did I film this video? This video... This was done um, between 9.14 and 9.16. So September 14th through the 16th I did this puzzle. Um, and yeah, you can definitely tell. This was even before I had the puzzling channel because I think I started that on September 22nd. So did you see that at the very, very end... I will show it again. I literally collapsed on, I don't know if I can get that in there, but if I can, if I can freeze frame that, you can see me collapse onto the puzzle because it was so hard for me just in the beginning, you know, but yeah, it was, it was a really enjoyable puzzle. I had a lot of fun building it. Um, like I said, I do want to get another one so I can glue it and, and then keep it to build again later but I don't know if I will ever do that or not I might who knows anyways I hope you enjoyed watching this video this review I highly recommend this puzzle especially if you like a challenge 
it's really really fun and I love the image I love the artwork let me show it to you one more time Jeff Haney you did an awesome job with the curiosity cabinets it's so cool it's I don't know I just had so much fun with this one and I fell in love with the image when I I first bought it I was like I don't know if I can do this but I want it I want it so bad so I got it anyway yes so if you like this video please click the like button don't forget to subscribe to my channel um, it'll really help me out because I'm just starting out in this uh, puzzling world I'm very excited to be a part of the puzzling community. I'm having so much fun. I'm meeting so many new people. I mean, not meeting them, but you know, like talking to them online. Anyway, um, if I always say the same thing, trying to say different things, remember to always stay weird because weirdos rule. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.